Hello guys, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new GTA 5 online tutorial. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to get the gold as secondary when you are playing alone in Keoperico Heist. By following the steps shown in this video, you can also replay the heist over and over again without doing any preparations gaining every time the maximum payout you can get till now in GTA 5 Online. First, you will need to set a settings in your graphics tab. Make sure that this is set to off. So the game will not pause when it will go to windowed mode. So let's go. In the description you will find the links of the tutorials that I've done. This is the best way to till now to gain money in less time possible than GTA Online. So you can buy all the things you want and can also play well. The Kasaka method is good for playing solo or with friends, since you'll start the heist near the entrance of the drainage tunnel, and you'll have the scuba suit that is very useful for swimming underwater. Now I'm going to El Rubio's compound and I will be using the drainage tunnel as entrance, as it is one of the fast and less complicated way to get in. Once you enter the El Rubio's compound, you can follow this way for going to the office. It is one of the best way if you're playing solo and don't need the door key cards. This way is also useful for finishing the heist under 10 minutes and get the elite that pays $100,000 more. Remember that if you are doing this heist for the first time of Madrazo files as the primary target, this method will not work. To make this replay method work, you need to finish the heist once. In this way, you can also have the heist in hard mode that pays more. In the wall safe in El Rubio's office, you can get an amount between $50,000 to $100,000, and it doesn't fill your loot bag. After opening the vault, change the visual to first person view. Then look at this direction. Jump and aim at the wall on your right as quickly as possible. Once you are here, go over the vault. Change the visual to third person view. Reach this position and aim at the direction that I am showing. Then make a good jump. Aim at the window right in front of you and walk till you fall down. When you fall down, change your visual again. That's it, here goes your secondaries. As you guys know Rockstar patched the last door glitch. But this is a new way to get the secondary that you have scoped in El Rubio's compound and it works in any platform. When you are doing this trick, at first it may seem difficult, but when you will succeed by following carefully this video, it will be just a piece of cake doing it every single time. I will be making more videos like this along with tutorials, walkthroughs and gameplays. Be sure to give a like and subscribe for not missing all upcoming contents. In the description, I've left the tutorial for hacking fast.
Many of you may already know this way, but I'm showing it anyway, because this is the best way for escaping from KO Perico. As I said before, if you've selected Kasaka this part is faster, thanks to the scuba suit. For console users, you need to close the game here. By the way, on PC, hosts will get paid so you can do it solo to gain money. But on console, hosts will not get paid but can play with other players to get money. If you play with a friend by swapping hosts both can gain money on console. For PC users, only host needs to disconnect the internet connection when the heist pass screen comes out. For disconnecting the internet connection, you can press Alt-Enter for going to windowed mode and turn off the Wi-Fi or use the AirPlay mode. If you have a wired connection, just pull out the Ethernet cable or turn off the modem. Press Enter when this alert screen comes up. Wait till the game goes to offline story then reconnect the internet connection and go back online. Many of you have told me that the game does not go offline. To solve it, close the game, reconnect the internet connection and open the game again. I usually load to invite only session or crew session because the game loads faster. Once the game loads, you'll see that you got paid and the heist is still there ready for going again. Remember that if you gain more than 2 millions, you need to wait at least 30 minutes before redoing the heist, or you will not get paid. I'm doing this glitch since KO Perico heist came out, and I can tell that if you don't abuse it, you'll never get banned. Make sure that you follow the steps carefully because if you missed a step, or didn't disconnect at the right time, Chances are that you will not get paid or the heist might reset, and you have to do all the preparations again. Here is a chart that shows the payouts of each primary target. As you can see the best paying primary target is the Panther statue, but it becomes available only during special events decided by Rockstar. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If there's any questions that you guys might have dropped a comment down below. And if you found it very useful, please drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you guys want to share this video by all means, it would also be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.